Hi, I'm that guy here, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us, episode one, and I just got back to my apartment, so let's continue. Oh yeah, the, str the steady stream of water looks like metal. What a night. Okay, I got alcohol, can I drink it? No. I have fridges and freezers. Right, let's, let's open the freezer. Get myself a piece of ice to eat. <laughs> or not. Damn. Oh, I'm not allowed to fill it. I'm just gonna leave that. Yeah, let me fill it. What are you doing, game? I thought this was an advanced next gen game. What the fuck? Why do I even own this? Should have <laughs> got a smaller one. I mean, ketchup. It's always good. Okay. What else is in this amazing apartment of mine? A desk. Oh, it's a folder. I want the Chinese food. Don't even remember ordering. Probably a bad sign. <laughs> the Bluebeard folder. Never trusted this guy. Okay. Some sort of fables entry was contained within there. Not gonna read it. Uh, what's next? Okay, then. Not gonna ask. Gonna gonna look at now I'm gonna use this fan oh shit Should help. Uh, I'm not gonna address the, the pig in the room but uh, I'm just gonna stare at him creepily <sighs> oh, not again <laughs> not again what I don't get it I'm gonna use them oh, I used them so good oh hey big B I'm in your chair, huh? Uh... <laughs> I've only got the one. So, yeah. That is a fat pig. Name to call him, apparently. Got a smoke? <laughs> okay, this has got to be the Thanks. first game where I've seen a couple pig thousand smoke more of cigarette. these. We'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. I'm gonna keep him as a pet. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. I want a pet pig to smoke cigarettes. That sounds fucking awesome. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. Oh, big bad It also would have shown sound. everyone I how get different it. you are. I am so slow. Uh, I'm gonna take that a sleep. That was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Everybody hates me? So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair. But it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. <laughs> I guess that's from the woodsman. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. 
Well, that wasn't really in my options. I didn't want to piss Colin off. He's my pet pig. I think pig my job home. is easy. You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. I got a name Beauty. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I told her I'd lie for her. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. <laughs> Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, this... Will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Probably. Uh, give it to Colin. I pissed him off earlier. The how does a pig drink that? Thanks, Big B. Oh, of course. I don't even have a bed? Wow. Not a very good wolf. I should be hiding in bed dressed as grandmothers at this point. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm coming to the door. I can't yell anything. Fucking just open that door. Do it. Open. Oh, hello. Big B. Snow? Come with me. Oh, shit. I'm in trouble. Snow. Snow. What? Okay. Sorry, I'm. What is it? Uh, I guess since I have no information. I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Yep. Oh, hi. It's a ginger Hello. guy. Good morning or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay. We'd love to know what the fuck's going on, but sure. Is that a dead raccoon? I don't... Oh. Oh, that's not great. Oh. What is it? Is it a jacket? Oh, it's a jacket that says security on it, looks like. Or a dead person. One of the two, I can't tell. Jacket! Perfect. I knew it. Should have went to jacket identifying school for all my skills. Oh! Well. I guess that wasn't in the fable. You knew this girl? Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her, though. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. A woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. Oh. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. 
Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. So it's a murder investigation now, is it? I guess fables do die. Okay, I'll start by the neck. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp. I guess. Or with magic attached to it. Guess the next would be the eyes, because that note seems she important. Was placed I don't care. care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. Interesting. To find. What kind of monster would do this? Okay, and then the mouth for that note. Or is it that ribbon from earlier? I can't what tell. Is... Ah, it's the ribbon. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Okay, then. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. This is just... So surreal. <sighs> um, what... What do you want to do next? Uh, uh, investigate. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. I am some sort of police officer. That's not investigating. I'm gonna use this ring on things. No, I can't do it. Uh, light bulbs. Doors. Oh shit. Look at it first, I guess. Controls are a little hard to get used to. I'm used to the scrolling in The Walking Dead, but you can actually just go to the correct spot now. Blood. So nice. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Huh. Maybe beauty had something to do with it. Oh, fabric. I'm gonna grab it. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. It's also really stiff for jeans. Okay. Trash bin. Examine. Just some loose trash. Okay. And that's blood on a spike. So, obviously touch that. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Okay. Look at it. Yep. More blood. No. Yep. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Interesting. What else could there be? We got that over with. What about over here? Oh, wait, I can't step on that grass. That'd be awful. I'd just ruin the world. The world would end if I stepped on that fucking grass. Eh, well, there is a head over there, though. I guess you got a head in the situation. Snow, that is. Where am I looking for things? Oh, around the corner. Oh, oh, oh. can I go? No, I can't. That's uh, that's not a thing. Over here? Nope, guess not. Interesting. Okay. Oh, sorry to barge over here. Oh, get away. Oh, oh, can't control myself. Shit. There, there we go. Come on. What's that? I want to look at the thing. Oh, bushes. Nobody there. Okay. What is... I want to look at that. I can clearly see something. Oh, it's rocks. It looks purple. God damn it. Compare fabric. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure. Just hurry up. We don't have much time. Not a match. We should 
move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Bigby, do you have any idea what's going on? Uh, yeah, this might be a message. Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? Yeah. Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact. Purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Perfect. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. I guess we'll just have to face him so we can Crane's get ahead. Not what's yeah. No. We need to oh, figure out terrible. who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. Swinehart. I'll meet you at the business office. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I don't have time for this. Yeah, you and all the rest of them in there. What a dick. Fucker. Wow. Talking behind my back, too. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Wow, yes, everybody is an asshole. Don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right uh... now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Perfect. Yeah, her pimp. Her... was she, uh... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. <laughs> Somebody was murdered. No, oh, massage and fucking wine. We'll Good find time. someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right <laughs> away, sir. If somebody has good judgment, clearly not me. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. <laughs> Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. 
The mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. Oh, is, there's a bird is listening. He gone? A monkey. Yes, I don't even know. Thankfully. Buffkin. Hello, Miss Snow. <laughs> Drinking this early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Baby? Man, he's creepy. Uh, I'm not great. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Well, I guess he's better he than most librarians. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Oh, God damn it! Magic mirrors! You really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Okay. Uh, magic lamp. Touch. Touch all the magic lamps. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Damn it! I'm gonna touch it anyway. I'm gonna, gonna put my hands all over that lamp. Yes, that's right. Oh, yeah. Worth a try. God damn it. Okay, talk to this mirror. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. That is kind of, of which creepy. Which fable do you wish to know? Oh, uh, that's not useful. Sure, woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down the street. Oh my god. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Interesting. Show Snow. me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. <laughs> okay. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> Well, this could be a really useful mirror. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Well, at least she's honest. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. What a very kind mirror that rhymes all the time and is kind of annoying and a dick. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Okay, what is he doing? Is he reading books? Oh, he's reading books. The little monkey thinks reading books. Okay, what else could there be? A mirror doesn't like me. The lamp doesn't like me. Is there like a, a mirror-lamp collaboration? Oh, can I just go piss him off? Nope. Damn it. Better go read some books. Come on, can't you walk any faster? Uh, what does it say? Oh, tarot desk. I ain't gonna... Oh, deck. Yeah, it's a tarot deck. Bunch of cards. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Eh, somebody hugging a wolf. Interesting. What's the next one? Oh, that's, that's the worst card you can possibly get. That's great. Absolute disaster. Damn. Just what the fuck is this?
this supposed to mean? Probably really good things. Like that last one's really good things, but I know the tower is terrible. It's it's like the worst thing ever. Oh, I can tickle I can tickle a mirror with a tarot card. Perfect. Come on, mirror. Take my tarot cards in the face. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you Especially so when there's helpful. only you know three cards on the desk. Muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Wow, I guess I have to ask somebody else about cards. There's gotta be a fable that knows about cards in here. Uh, okay. Where's that monkey? That monkey, uh, okay, I can't talk to him. Do you know about- God damn it, does nobody know about cards? What is this? Okay, that's not useful. Uh, okay. It's something about a ribbon, so I gotta look for ribbons. Well, that, it was interesting. What is this, anyway? Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Man, this guy is creepy. Thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Bubka, translate. Okay. Mm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. <laughs> okay. Uh, th oh, that's an important ring. We've this seen this ring. One. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as... <laughs> Askin. <laughs> wow. Uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband. Been promised to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was. Uh, was what? His daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily oh, ever after. Okay, then. That's a fucked up fable. Should I mock it, Miss Snow? Yes. Well, now we know who it was. Didn't really live happily ever after, I guess. Huh. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Okay. I'll have to talk to Prince Lawrence we what we now. Came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. Ugh. We should talk to the husband. Can I talk to the mirror? You think he did it? Uh, Nothing yeah, we can't rule him at out. This point. We can't rule him out. Interesting. Okay, maybe I can tarot card people now. Uh, nope. Nope. What's this? Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We Jeez. already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Interesting. Oh, hey, I know this guy. He's My a dick. Buddy. The woodsman? Yep. <laughs> and his axe. Okay, that's, that's me. Hey, there's me. Not a good day. Okay. Well, that's, that's the I'm apple eating person. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Oh, angry dwarves. Wow, they look really dwarves. mean. Less said about that, the better. Okay, what's this? Beauty and happier days. Beauty and a beast's head, of course. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. <laughs> okay. Colin and his brothers. Creepy. Beast. 
Yeah, that's her, all right. Long time ago. Okay, so that's, I guess, the donkey girl. Interesting. Oh, Toad! I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. <laughs> Toad. Sad. And, oh god, Ichabod, Ichabod Crane. Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. <laughs> Anybody else left to examine? No. Oh, I think I got them all. Even the scary midgets. Cool. Well, I guess I'm leaving this room. Gotta notify that father. Hmm. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then. Or what he did to get them. <laughs> okay. Probably some sort of magic beanstalk bullshit. Oh, uh, maybe I can ask. About the prince guy. I'm gonna talk to the mirror. Mirror, tell me some shit about stuff. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess faith. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. Oh, that's not nice. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Big B. It's simply the way this has to be. Wow, okay. That's stupid. Show me faith's father. The old king. Oh, he's dead as fuck. I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. And the prince. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Interesting. What's he been doing? That's the where stabbing blade. Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Interesting. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Now we know where to go. Exit. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Yeah, let's uh, let's go see some Prince guy. Sorry, or not. I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. Uh oh. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? Uh, what do you want? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he. Oh, well, hang on. Okay. What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Oh no! Whenever you're ready. Okay. Leave, I guess. Tells yeah. Did there Toad say who we was there? Go. Was it the woodsman? And uh, that's where this part's gonna end. There will be another part. Uh, thank you for watching. Please comment, favorite, and uh, like the video. It really helps. And subscribe for more videos.